If you want Python and Java to integrate for machine learning for sure, and don't want to waste time guessing Gradle build, Python statistics and graphing modules that actually work, this video may be for you. Watch until the end for a handy tip on making Python machine learning and Java work on Android with ChacoPy. Create a project on Android Studio. Select Empty Views Activity. I'm making my application MyStats App 1. For development language, I'm choosing Java and I'm selecting API 21 for SDK. I'll go with Groovy DSL for build configuration language as uh, I tested that it works with ChacoPy. Click Finish to create the project. Give it a while for Gradle project synchronization to complete. A Java class main activity is now created. Click to expand Gradle scripts view and open the project build.gradle. I'm going to paste here a configuration I already have. I've put a link in the description if you want to watch the detailed video on how I made this configuration. Open the module build.gradle. Here again, I'm going to paste a configuration I already have. For details of this configuration, watch the video with the link in the description. We're going to uh, configure the installation of Python statistics and graph plotting packages here. But first, let's quickly code in Python and Java a program to load some data from a file, plot a histogram, and calculate a statistical distribution on the data. Switch to the project files view, expand app, source, and main. Locate a directory, Python, that was automatically created when I added my build.gradle configuration. If this directory was not created, head to build and click on run generate sources gradle tasks. Right click the Python folder and create a Python file. Let's create a function transform underscore data. Add the code to load some data in this function. This data is Wi-Fi download speed measurements stored in a CSV file. The CSV file is located in a subdirectory within my Android Studio project's uh, base location. Our Python code uses the pandas package to load the data and create a data frame with it. Then it uses the stats.boxcox to transform the loaded data and stats.norm.fit to fit a normal distribution on the boxcox transformed data. Finally, it uses matplotlib.pyplot to generate a histogram of the data and a plot of the fitted distribution and save the generated graph as a PNG file in the Android internal storage. The Python program we wrote here is using statistics, graph plotting, and CSV data loader packages. Let's head back to our app build.gradle to configure the installation of these Python packages. Under default config, Locate the section for Python package installer PIP. Configure the installation of packages NumPy, Matplotlib, and Pandas. Before we configure for stats package SkyPy, we need to update the Python version that works with these packages and do a build. Otherwise, I find that the build runs into an error if you try to do one build after adding all the packages together. Under default config, update the Python version and do a build.
Looks like the build is successful. Let's configure the install of package SkyPy and uh, do another build. Now we can see a warning regarding SkyPy and NumPy version mismatch. Uh, let's ignore that warning for now and instead head to mainactivity.java, which is where I'll call the Python function transform underscore data to test that everything works out fine. I already have most of the Java code copied from another project. If you want details of all this Java code, I've left the link to a video in the description below. Here, I'm just going to add the Java wrapper code to handle the Python module myhelper.py and make a call to Python function transform underscore data. In this Java code, I'm going to get the image of the graph plot for a PNG file that my Python program saved in Android internal storage. I'll load that uh, PNG in my device memory in Android Studio and display its size of the object that's held in memory. I'll also display in Java the list of transformed values that the Python function returned as a NumPy array. Let's run the code. Error in Java. Uh, a typo in class name. Fix that. Let's run again. Mm, error in Python. That's a syntax error. Fix that. Run again. All seems good now. Uh, let's see if the Python code successfully saved the PNG file in a device storage. There it is. Next, did the Java code load the PNG? Yes, it did and successfully calculated the in-memory size of the bitmap. Finally, the Java code also captured the list of BoxCox transformed numbers that were returned by the Python function transform underscore data. So in summary, we saw in this video how to successfully install important Python statistics, math, and data handling packages in Android to support machine learning with Java, Python, and Chaco Pi on Android. Share this video with your friends who might find it useful. Let us know in comments what other Python packages you had success or challenges with in Android and Chaco Pi. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more.